Hello and welcome to the second episode of iZoot's skinning tutorials. Today's episode focuses on hit circles. Hit circles are one of the most one of the most important, if not the most important part of the game because you are literally clicking the circles. So I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple hit circle. You've probably seen it before. It's the hit circle that's used in Idki's skin or the one that is used on the sliders in Raphis' skin, his DT skin. This head circle is very simple to make, very easy, so I chose this because this is meant to be kind of an introduction for beginners who don't really know how to make skins yet. So we're going to start out with Medibang. You can do this in Fire Alpaca as well. Just kind of follow what I do. The programs are almost identical, so you should be able to do everything that I am doing. So go ahead and create a new image from going to File or pressing Control N and set the size to 256 by 256. This is the size that you're going to need to get the correct size of the hit circle at, for at 2x. So go ahead and set that and click OK. We're going to do what we did before and zoom in all the way. I actually am going to re get rid of this point. For example, this to there, whatever. And if you see, I believe, hmm. Technical difficulties. All right, and we're back. There were some fixing some stuff. So as you see here, it starts out in the corner here. And so what you're gonna wanna do is click four to get the vanishing point snap so we can move it around and then click six or the circle snap tool up here. And now we can move the center point. So if you click this button right here over in the navigator, fit to window size, it'll zoom in perfectly square perfectly even in the center of your screen. So with that set, or you can, raise you open, it'll be perfectly centered. This is in case you move around. If you need it centered, just press this button over in the navigator here. So now that we're centered, we want to uh, control plus and zoom in all the way, as far as you can go until it doesn't let you anymore. Now we're close to, this is the size of the pixel right here. So we're gonna go directly into the middle and click. We can go ahead and zoom out with control minus. And now we have it directly in the middle. We're going to grab our pen tool or brush tool and we're gonna use it to make the hit circle. So with white selected, we're going to give ourselves a slight edge. We're going to, we need to get, never, never make the hit circle directly on the edge of the image because you need to give yourself kind of a glow I will show you in a moment so give yourself just a smidge of space I'm gonna make mine a little thicker all right give yourself a give yourself enough space to add something if you needed give yourself enough space to where you could draw an extra line on the outside so now create a new layer and switch your color to black Make your brush very small, make it like size three, and draw an outline on the outside. All right, with this outline drawn, I'm actually going to thicken the center a moment, just for a moment. That looks good. So now with the outline drawn and the inside body part made, duplicate layer one, which is the body, Go ahead and press the duplicate layer button. It'll make a copy. And with the duplicated layer selected, go to filter and Gaussian blur. I apologize if I'm butchering it. With a blur of around three, with where we select it, it shouldn't clip the outside. So just go ahead and click okay and duplicate the blur layer to make it a lot brighter. With the, with now with the both of these glow layers, we can press on the top one right here, the top glow layer, as you can see the center is kind of intensifying. Press merge layers. Now both of the, the glow layers are in a single layer. So with the glow layer selected, I recommend naming these. You can name them with the cog here on the side. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to name these. All right. So we want the outline on the top, the glow. You can have it on the bottom, kind of anywhere. 
and then the body like I said kind of anywhere just as long as it's below outline so select glow grab your eraser and erase the middle make sure there's no glow in the middle as you can see so if we now set the background color to black you'll see there is a slight glow on the outside I'm actually going to make it even more intense but just dim it down a little bit and there you go that is it keys hit circle you added the extra space because we were adding this glow this allows it so you, the hit circles don't get lost when they're getting stacked on each other like in some maps so with with this select with all of this done we can go ahead and select transparent background now this we're gonna be I'm teaching you a new feature of this app called folder so go ahead and click add layer folder it'll create a little folder here select all of these by clicking one of them hold shift and then click a bottom one it'll click and kind of like select them all and with all of them selected click and drag onto the folder icon it will place them inside the folder and it's easy to keep it's made so you can manage a lot of folders easily but it also allows you to do this new thing that I am gonna show you where if you have a bunch of items in a in a folder and you have the folder selected not the individual layers you have the folder selected if you press control C and control V control copy control paste it will actually put all of the selected layers or all of the visible layers into a single layer this allows you to do things like get special like blending effects to keep or keep their visual effect without merging the layers because merging layers can mess up some of the visual effects so now that we have this layer or now that we have copied this layer into a single visual thingy or into a single layer we can get rid of the folder now with the transparent background and our hit circle done we're actually going to go over and export it so go to file and export turn on png transparent png and turn off all of the options down here and click OK. Now, like I taught you in the first video, go over to the quick access tab thingy in the corner here and go to your skins and go to your designated folder where you're going to have your skins and type it or name it hit circle at 2x. And now with it keys hit circle, it does something quite unique. It actually has a slight glow to it. It allows you to slightly see the combo color. So we're actually going to set the opacity to 95. Now that we've exported it at 100%, we're going to send it to 95 and export. It will not affect this one. It'll only affect our current one now. So now name this hit circle overlay at 2x. Now this will allow us to actually see the combo color just slightly and get that visual effect that is had on Idki skin. So now we can open Osu. Now that Osu is open, we can go over to our designated skin where we or folder where we had our thing and you can see our hit circle is popping up. This is the cursor we made in the previous episode. We can preview gameplay and see it in action. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, the black line prevents it from blending in with the previous layer, and the white glow prevents the black line from getting lost in the background. And with that overlay being slightly opaque, you can actually see the subtle color of the combo color on the hit circle, getting the effect that it had on Idki skin. This is a very simple hit circle to make, and it'll teach you kind of the basics of what you need to know when making a hit circle. So that should do it for the second episode of iZoot's skinning tutorials. I hope it helped you out a lot, and I cannot wait to see you in the next episode.